Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. t Vlogs here. What's up, guys? So once again, we have returned to the Botanical Gardens here in St. Louis, Missouri. Once again, for the Japanese Festival. And for the third time consecutively, I am at the Botanical Gardens dressed as White Rabbit. Coincidence? Probably, but I think not. As usual, I am here with our Alice. We have a dark hatter over here. Giovanni is checking out his equipment right now, ready to catch some of the legendary Pokemons over there. Also. And way down yonder over there, we have our Mad Hatter, as per usual. He's getting some fish food for later on. And we are going to head around and check out some of the festivities. So, join us, guys. Okay. And of course, here we are in the main plaza once you step out into the garden itself. Vendors amass all kinds of Nice Japanese wares to purchase, snacks, anime, plushes, even more vendors down here, heading on the way to the food court. A beautiful day out here, a lot cooler than it was last year. So I think we'd be able to last a little bit longer than we did. Oh, and you see of course the magical Paki sign over here. Usually where there is Paki you will find Otaku, so uh, let's go see what they've got. I'll see you guys later. One of the first places we stopped had one of my favorite Japanese treats, melon bread. If you've never had melon bread before, you're in for a treat if you ever happen to find it. It's got a little bit of melon, almost like a lemon glaze on it. It's nice and soft and delicious in here and... Mmm. Only problem is, the glaze gets caught on your teeth a little bit. But it really is good. If you ever get a chance to grab you some melon bread, pick it up. You will not be disappointed. I promise you that. Remember the Climatron from the previous Japanese festival, but this time we have all kinds of different flowers and things to see in here. We've seen some pictures from before. Ah! And of course you'll remember these little guys from last time as well. And of course we have the glass garden exhibit as well. Something else that wasn't here the last time. There's some more glass garden sculptures for you. It's just so beautiful in here. You can't help but just walk around and look at all the lush leaves and beautiful fragrant flowers. The scenery in here is just so amazing. The rock formations, just walk into a little cavern. Oh yes, we've also picked up a Kenshin and his lovely wife as well too. Friends Eric and Shannon have joined us. Of course we have little bodies of water, some creeks and ponds. There's all kinds of wonderful stuff to check out in here. Oh, man. I wish we could find Something that I'm sure you've never seen before, unless you've been to the grocery store, we have pomegranates in their natural habitat here, still growing on the tree. Now personally, I've never had a pomegranate by itself. I've had pomegranate flavored things, but it's really cool to actually see what they look like while they're still growing. See, even if you've been here a few times, you're still finding new things and learning all kinds of interesting facts. It wasn't until, and it wasn't until they started incorporating the rice vinegar and the rice that they started using the raw fish. And, uh, Mostly for royalty and uh, the bourgeoisie, it wasn't mostly for commoners until rice became a more stable food. And uh, the economy started increasing uh, vast amounts of rice. And that more people could enjoy the uh, great flavors that you see she offers. Uh, around the 19th century, uh, whatever convenience you want to put inside. Or, or, and what we're going to try to do is 
get this corner up to the top edge. Roll it. So after attending a cooking demonstration, learning how to make fresh sushi, we decided to stop off and get some more food because now we're actually hungry. So I've got myself some cold soba noodles. These are about three different kinds of noodles. There was some crab meat in there and a bunch of other stuff. It's really good. I'm not used to cold noodles, but it's really an interesting experience. And I found that there's some stuffed pork buns not too far from here. So you know what I'm getting next. I'll see you when I get one of those. All right. You know it, you love it. It's gigantic, it's eggy, it's porky, it's steamy. Do you wanna blow a kiss to Jimmy? It's the egg and pork steam bun with rabbit ears, of course. Can't beat it. So. <laughs> so let's give this guy a bite and see how it goes. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, they're all the egg goodness, nice tender pork, very fluffy dumpling type bun. Is that your favorite toy you saw? I love these things way too much. They're probably the worst thing for me, and one of the things I look forward to getting when I come here to the Japanese festival. Again, if it's something you've never had before, you need to remedy that because these things are amazing. Well, let's see what else we can see now that we're out here. I'm gonna take this shady little pathway down here. I don't believe we've gone this way before. It's kind of nice. There's a little uh, gazebo type guy over here. And we're just going to uh, follow the Behind path. me, we've got Alice following along here and the rest of the troop. So for the first time, Alice really is following the White Rabbit. How about that? I had gotten a picture of these the last time we were here, but um, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but these flowers here seem to sprout out of the ground out of nowhere. It's kind of crazy how these guys work, but it just seemed to pop up so randomly. There's nothing, there's nothing, and then suddenly these flowers just come right out of the ground. It just, it completely blows my mind that they work this way. See, nothing, nothing, and then suddenly they start sprouting out of the ground, and then right before you, they're everywhere. So cool. While coming down here to the lake by the Japanese gardens, we made ourselves a turtle friend! Bob's got some fish food, so he's kind of lured him out and he's peeking up to say hello to us. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Are you the mock turtle by any chance? I don't think he liked that. Oh, there's another one behind him. There you go. Hey, throw some over here. And so we now must say goodbye to the botanical gardens for the Japanese fest this year. It was a wonderful time. The people loved us. Got so many pictures. So many little kids calling me Bunny Rabbit. I even had one of the food vendors who apparently I made their day when I stopped off in their line to get that pork dumpling. He really enjoyed it. So, all in all, I'd say this was a pretty successful trip. We got Jake over here. So, this was Jake's first time publicly cosplaying, so I have to get your take, sir. What did you think? Five laugh emojis out of five. <laughs> five laugh emojis out of five. It's safe to say that I think Jake has caught the cosplay bug and he will be doing this again with us very soon, I'm sure. So that's really all I've got for you now, guys. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon and take care. Bye-bye.